going on everyone it's a uh, it's been a while again <laughs> i'm not doing so well i'm uh, maintaining a regular flow of content for you lovely people <laughs> you know but at the same time you know um you know i'd like to thank everyone for sticking around and, and you know, and trust me I'm, I'm not going anywhere just clearly need to manage my downtime better as i do you know very much enjoy making videos and have no plan of stopping but I thought I'd drop another video, you know, slightly inspired after watching another great video from Mr. T, uh, titled um, A Major Nintendo Problem, where he uh, discusses how Nintendo generally won't create another entry in their long lost you know, list of uh, IPs, you know, unless they have a unique idea to push it forwards, you know, cited titles like F-Zero and Wave Race, which, which many of us you know, want to see return for obvious reasons. So, you know, please, you know, go, go and watch that video if you haven't, you know, I'll link it in the description. Um, and, you know, I, I agree with, you know, everything he says, but I also want to look at it from another angle, where I'll focus on Nintendo for this video. But it can apply to other platforms and, you know, developers as well, you know, and it's, it's, it's something that we generally discuss all the time, you know, but I'd like to see how everyone feels. Um, the question, you know, is in the title of this video, you know, do, do we as, as gamers want... Or um, you know, better yet, you know, demand a new entry from Nintendo's um, list of IPs, major IPs, you know, every console generation, or even multiple entries, you know, which is an even rarer commodity from Nintendo in a single generation for for many of their IPs. When you know, when I dig down deep into it, you know, I find this you know, it's kind of a tough question, you know, but also a scenario that I kind of you know, love about Nintendo and how the sparsity of their releases within certain major, you know, IPs, franchises, uh, you know, makes me appreciate and, and yearn them even more. You know, perhaps, you know, even play them even more. You know, something that's also a major um, issue with gaming today. You know, how games have, you know, almost become uh, a throwaway industry. You know, much, much similar to the mobile market where people just play a title and then just quickly move on compared to back in the day where, you know, you, you played that game over and over and over. Um, you know, but then, you know, I also lamented the fact that, you know, we, we can't get, um, we don't get to see as, as, as much um, of what Nintendo can do within a single generation if they were to create brand new entries, you know, in their popular franchises, which um, within a single generation, you know, you know, which has many times left, you know, me wondering, you know, what, you know, as an example, what would a Mario 64 2, <laughs> you know, had, had been like on the N64 if, if Nintendo had created another Mario game on there, you know, especially, you know, with the significance of Mario 64, the original, you know, or, or what would Luigi's Mansion 2 had been like, you know, if they, if it was developed for the GameCube and they, you know, pushed even further past, you know, what many consider to be a, you know, a tech demo, you know, for that system. Um, you know, the, the easy answer for, for many, of course, you know, especially considering that, you know, Nintendo are well into the HD era now, you know, initially with the Wii U and, and now with the Switch, is that, you know, yes, you know, we... We want, and you know, sometimes even you know, demand um, at least one new entry from from um, every uh, you know Nintendo IP we love, um, you know, and especially to you know see them appear in HD for the first time. Something we briefly, uh, something we briefly, you know, discussed on uh, the last Juices Loose podcast. How um, you know, even up till now, you know, we're still only just getting some you know long running Nintendo IPs in HD for the first time. Um, your know, series like Luigi's Mansion, which you get in the third game, you'll find in HD on the Switch, um, Animal Crossing, and your know, Pokemon as an example. You know, this this was you know always a, a, you know another exciting part of, of the Wii U. You know, outside of the cool ideas that you know, could have come with the gamepad. You know, plus other unique things the system done. You know, which I always say that the Switch doesn't do now. And you know that, that you know that was seen um, Nintendo IPs in, in HD for the first time. And and for the most part, you know, we we haven't been disappointed. You know, with with what we've been given. You know, because that Nintendo quality continues to, to shine through, and not just you know uh, quality, but that Nintendo innovation in in software and and, and hardware. You know, it's um e even whenever companies have been creating games in HD on, on consoles with you know uh, you know better you know technology for for, you know, for over a decade now. You know, Nintendo Nintendo could still roll up with a Breath of the Wild, and in my, you know, in my opinion, uh, put the multitude of, of open world games you know we've been playing um, to shame in terms of how the world is traversed and interacted with. You know, this this is another reason why we why we yearn uh, for other Nintendo IPs to, to join that HD train, right? Um, 
another reason why, why most of us you know, are, are still twitching and, you know, and, and desperate to see games like F-Zero, you know, Wave Race and, and Pilot Wings get new entries on Nintendo's modern systems you know, because the last time we saw them and played them you know, they, they both looked and played incredibly you know, for, um, for their time and you know, I'd argue they haven't been beaten in their genres by, by other companies since you know, which in itself you know, is insane to think considering all the years that have passed and you know the, the so-called advancements of, of game design that have been made you know but outside of you know, wanting nintendo games in, in hd for the first time um the biggest reason you know why we crave all these games i feel um you know all the time is it's just because you know we we love them you know which which is you know which is why we always request sequels or, or games set in the same universes or, or using the same characters uh, you know etc you know we when you when you play greatness, it's it's only natural to want more, you know, which is which is why most of us you know are going bonkers for um, Breath of the Wild 2, you know, pu purely based off the you know the greatness of the original. Um, all you know, all Nintendo needed to do with that was was show a brief tr story trailer, and that was enough to get us hyped. Um, and you know, and also this this is you know one of those occasions where we'll see another Zelda. On the same console, something you know in itself, which is quite rare, as as, as you know, as, as we know, you know that um, you know the NES and the SNES only had one Zelda each. The N64 got lucky with two, um, so did the GameCube. Um, the Wii technically only had one new Zelda, same as the Wii U, and and in reality, the Switch hasn't had essentially its, its own um, you know unique Zelda yet. If if we played a whole Breath of the Wild was developed for the Wii U first, which is true. And you know it, 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 it's still you know released on the Wii U. Um, you know more than one console you know exclusive Zelda is a, a, a rarity, you know which many people find you know um, painful, you know because the series is such greatness as we know. Um, one one of the biggest offenders you know for for the single game every you know five to ten years is uh, Ma the Mario Kart series. You know we we literally only get one. Mario Kart per console generation, but once again, you know that single Mario Kart game ends up just being fantastic. And and, and since um, DLC, you know, became a thing, you know, expanding on that long title is made easier, and and keeps our hunger for for a new entry at bay a little bit. Um, although, as you know, you know we're in strange territory now with Mario Kart 8, um, which you know we've been uh, playing since um, to uh, since 2014. <laughs> And, and and considering you know its sales numbers across both the Wii U and the Switch, you know we could be playing you know the same Mario Kart game for a great number of years to come. And you know I'm 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 more, I'm more than ready for the new Mario Kart. You know like like many of us, you know, or, or perhaps just um, or perhaps just eager to see a Switch exclusive Mario Kart because you feel like the system deserves one and could also just give us something completely new again. Um, you know, some some series I'm I'm happy for them to take a break. You know because we we can get too many of them within a certain console generation, and fatigue you know sets in. You know this happens across all platforms as we know. But in Nintendo's case, you know I personally wouldn't give you know, a crap if we didn't get a new Kirby game. You know this generation. You know if it's if it's just going to be another 2D um, adventure that doesn't essentially do anything new. You know Nintendo N N N Nintendo seem you know really picky. In this case, you know, don't they? You know, it's you know they're, they're happy to pump out Kirby game after Kirby game, and uh, with them all essentially doing the same thing outside of a little gimmick. But when it comes to F Zero, you know, they are um, straight up, you know, nope, no, not doing, you know, more of the same. E even though you know we've already made three you know, console games, you know, we'll we'll bring it back, you know, when we think of something fresh. Uh, you know, <laughs> You know, but you know, but as we know, um, your know, sales numbers can also count, and and in those choices, um, uh, you know, Kirby sells you know better than F Zero, you know, but then Kirby has had more chances, you know, I'd argue. Um, you know, based off you know, based off the success of the Nintendo Switch, though, you know, even even with um, IPs that never sold you know well previously, you know, Fire Emblem being a perfect example here, you know, you do feel that now is as as good a time as any. To um, you know, reintroduce entries from Nintendo's vast catalog, and and the chances of them selling well seem you know greatly higher than ever before. You know, people people seem willing to um, try Nintendo IPs they had never played before, and you know because of that Switch mag magic, and you know that has dragged in many new gamers to um, the Nintendo ecosystem. Um, so so one question you know I, I could ask is you know what do you personally? 
considered to be the most your standard you know the most staple nintendo series that you'd like to see a new entry in uh for every console generation you know to appease your nintendo gaming needs <laughs> you know this this might also you know depend on when you actually started gaming with nintendo as well because some ips you know haven't returned for you know for a long time um as for me um you know, I I personally like to see a new entry, um, you know, not not remakes or, or remasters, but you know, new entries from you know, uh, both the 3D and 2D Mario games. I think we should get a new 3D and 2D Mario game, you know, every gen. You know, um, I think we should get a new Mario Kart, um, a new Zelda, and um, and with Zelda, you know, I'm not fussy on it being you know either top down or full 3D. Because um, I, I I love both um, you know the top down and full 3D Zelda's um, just 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 as equal you know pretty much um, a, a new Metroid you know once again 2D or 3D or as much as I love Primes you know, you bring a solid 2D Metro game and that can be absolutely glorious as well you know I, I don't care about that um, just as long as they're new new games um, a new Donkey Kong you know again 2D or 3D but it would be nice you know if they were split evenly. Or, or you know, or with all these you know mentioned series, you know, well, perhaps even get both 2D and 3D entries in the same generation. You know, I I think that's actually important for these series. You know, you know apart from Mario Kart, which I mentioned, um, you know, Nintendo pretty much you know went through the whole of the N64 and GameCube era with very few traditional um, 2D games. And you know, I think you know, I, I I keep on stressing it. You know, 2D is just as important as 3D in gaming. Um, I think we should also um, you know, get a new Star Fox game every generation um, and you know, I, I keep on saying I'm working on a Star Fox video, <laughs> it will come but um, you know, it's, a, it's, it's never one of those projects um, because um, you know, Star Fox I feel is, is a staple Nintendo series that I think you know, could, could be you know, bigger than, than, than it is. I think we should get a new F-Zero uh, every generation you know, because if Mario Kart can get a new entry um, every gen, you know, then so can F Zero, which you know took, uh, which track design and you know car design wise, you know, plus other gameplay man mechanics, um, you know, because easily have a new entry every generation. I feel, and I do feel F Zero, you know, even though we had it for ages, I do feel it's still an important Nintendo IP. Um, you know, outside of those titles, you know, I'm happy to see entries from other, um, every other IP, you know, flitter in and out, you know, but at the same time, you know, if, if one series misses a generation, you know, then I'd expect it to be back in the next one. Um, you know, as an example, you know, I'm I'm, I'm happy um, to have a Wave Race and a new Pilot Wings once every other uh, generation, and even a Paper Mario and Animal Crossing once every other generation as examples. You know, but but certainly wouldn't want them to be gone for too long. You know, or preferably, you know, if if console generations were to last longer, you know, let's let's just get um, entries from from most of these series. You know, something I'm you know, I'm sure we'd all love for the most part. Um, but yeah, you know, I I think I'm done here. You know, what are your thoughts? You know, do do you want or or demand a new entry? You know, from certain Nintendo series. You know, every generation, or, or even demand or, or want new entries from most Nintendo series. You know, every generation. You know, um, you know, I've I've given you know uh, an example of the series. You know, I feel you know should be there every generation, and I'm happy to see other entries. You know, get um. You know, others get entries or or, or take a small break. You know, but in reality, you know, I, I'd love. You know, every Nintendo console generation to play host to most Nintendo series. You know, as, as with Nintendo consoles, the console themselves offer unique features that are that just perfect. Um, you know, for some Nintendo series to take advantage of, and and there's been plenty of times when um, that hasn't happened. You know, for for whatever reasons. Um, as an example, you know, I wanted a, a Luigi's Mansion on the Wii. You know, because the Wii Mote, you know, would have been you know just made so much sense to that series, um, and I would have loved a Metro Prime game on the Wii U. You know, because the gamepad you know, could have been used for scanning, you know, along with the map and other motion control features, like tilting it to control the morph ball, you know, but that's all history now. So um, yeah, let me know your thoughts below and I'll do my best to get the next video out as soon as possible. And as always, you know, thanks for listening. I'll reply to everyone. Take care all and peace.